right after the game here with uh, Day Day Dunkster here after the game. First off, congrats on the win. It looked like you were getting whatever you wanted um, in the paint tonight. How did how did that come about? Uh, different mindset. Like after uh, hearing about Kobe and his daughter dying, had a uh, Kobe mentality. So I came in here, played for Kobe and his daughter. Just having fun and dominating the uh, paint, taking over what's mine. Well, you definitely showed that mentality tonight. Well, we're almost through the first round of district. What are your thoughts uh, going, getting ready for the next round of district? Uh, guys, they really, uh, first round was a little up and down, but uh, now I think we're ready for what's, uh, what's about to come. Let's let run San Antonio. Awesome, awesome. Well, congrats on the win. We'll see you next week. After the game here with Cam. Cam, you had some great plays tonight. What, were, what was your mindset coming in tonight? Uh, my mindset was just to be better than we were in Greenville. And um, when we played hard in Greenville, we played really bad. And so I was just coming out with a lot of fire from that game. Now, you're talking about Greenville a lot. Is, there still, is that still in your mind, or have you made it past that yet? I made it past that because we, we already know what's going on next time we come play them. <laughs> it's nothing like that again. Yes, sir. Anything you want to tell the fans? I um, mean, thank you all for being here. Love the support. Hey, man. Well, congrats on the win. Thank you. Love you, man. Love you too. All right. Here with the hot hand for tonight, had seven. Grayson McClure had seven threes. What was what was the fact for the outpouring of scoring tonight? Uh, just taking what the defense gives us. Um, we studied a lot of their film from last year and this year, and uh, you know we knew if they came out to me, then Dede would get a lot of points, and uh, if they close in on Dede Cam. Uh, I just get a lot of shots up, and that's what happened tonight. Yeah. Now, we finished the first round of district this Friday with Lindale. What are your thoughts uh, finishing this first round and getting ready for the next round of district? Uh, second round is definitely the toughest. Uh, every team has a chance to play you and uh, scout you and to uh, fix what their problems were. Uh, so we just got to key in and keep working hard and not take anything lightly. Uh, we're having, we had a solid first half, but uh, we just got to pick it up the second half. All right, well, congrats on the win tonight. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thanks, Happy man. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, man. Here with the uh, winning coach for tonight, Coach Sip. How, how are you feeling uh, getting ready to finish the first round of district? What are, you, what are your thoughts? You know, I think we're starting to play, you know, as gritty and, and grind out possessions like we need to. Um, I told the team before we started tonight, we're flirting with great and we're good sometimes. And I hope we can keep crossing that line to great. I thought tonight we were great for majority of the game. And, you know, if we can continue that uh, on, uh, you know, everything else will take care of itself. Now on that note with fl flirting with, you know, great and being good sometimes, what are some things that you can point to that, that kind of affect that good and great uh, flirting? Hey, it's easy. It's called the controllables. Okay. So stuff like blocking out every possession. See, a lot of people want to block out when it's easy. They don't want to do it every single play. Well, the teams that go on and advance and get to hang up hardware at the end of the year, man, they do it every single play, every single day. They dive for the, the ball on the loose, uh, they dive for loose balls. Um, they're the first to the floor. They're making the right pass. They're not selfish, they're selfless. So, so just those little tangibles of just playing hard as you can every single second. You're out there being as focused as you can be every single second. To me, that's what separates the great and the good. Well, tonight you had uh, everybody on your team got some playing time tonight. Uh, you know, Caleb Alexander, Malik, these kids that don't get a lot of playing time during the season. What does it mean for you as a coach heading into the future um, for those kids to get some playing time? Oh, it means a ton. Uh, they call themselves the blue crew. <laughs> in practice, sometimes they'll, they'll be the blue team. Sometimes I'll start the starters in the black. But, uh, you know, those guys, they, they work tremendously hard in practice to give us looks, and a lot of them are underclassmen. Actually, they all are underclassmen. So um, any type of in-game experience I can get those guys are just helping practice you know for the future and I just I want to reward those guys um, so when they come in at the end of the game a lot of people uh, you know hold the ball with well, well, those guys don't get to play a lot so I want them to go out there and you know showcase what they have and uh, you know it's, to me it's not fair to, to just have them hold it you know when you have that lead so I, I try to get them in where they have enough time where they can kind of showcase some of their skills and uh, for a large part you know that they, they really get to and they do a good job of it well you finished your first round of district Friday against Lindale how are you feeling um, halfway through the first part of district. On that line of great and good, you know, <laughs> like we're flirting with it. Uh, I, I really like this team. This team is special to me. Just to, And it, it goes beyond basketball, just the kids, man. I love them to death. I've been around them, it seems like, their entire life. I think Grayson's been here for 12 years. Might as well uh, be one of my kids. So, um, you know, just for them to have success and cherish every moment, uh, they don't get to do this again, uh, this high school thing. So we're just trying to take it one day at a time, cherish every moment we can, and, uh, you know, just make the most out of it, trying to be great every day. And if we can be great every day, hopefully we can, you know, hang some hardware at the end. Well, one last question for you before, before we get out of here. What does it mean to you coming into this game 
looking at our fans outnumbering the fans at a home game. What does it mean for you to have fans that travel well, and what do you want to tell them? I want to tell them thank you. It means so much. There's so much pride that has been established with these guys, and these guys work so hard. Um, I work. Uh, I work them day in and day out. We're up there before school, we stay late after school, and it's not just during basketball season, it's year round and it's in the summertime. So these guys sacrifice a lot. So to me, it's really important when a community really backs those kids up and, and really shows the, the support. And that just gives us that extra boost. And you know, that's something uh, I, I talk about all the time, but how proud I am that, that, that we're there as a program, you know, year in and year out where people are excited about it. Hopefully younger kids um, that want to be basketball players, boys or girls are uh, motivated by us that they can look up to us and, and they play the game the right way. I love how his game is. His game resembles mine and uh, I know I got to have that as a young kid and I still remember those days so we're just trying to provide that um, here in Sulphur Springs. So once again thank you community. Thank you, you guys. And, I mean everybody's just tremendous and uh, to me it's the best place in the world uh, to, to coach at and be a part of so we, we, we thank you for that. Yeah, well I know looking at your freshman and your JV team we got good basketball for years we to do, come especially do. with you here. Yeah, thank you Sip for all you do. We're proud of you. We love you, man. Happy birthday, dude. Thanks, Happy bro. Birthday.